control, we're going to need to have a skill set that will allow us to hold the person down, even if they're bigger and stronger than us. Crocodile control is our answer for that. My arm, our arm that's closest to the head goes under the head. That's the head wrap. Our arm that's on the far side of our partner goes under their arm. And this is called the underhook. The head wrap and the underhook together are crocodile control. You can also lock your hands and hold on even tighter. There's something else that we're gonna do is we're not gonna hold ourselves up on our knees we're gonna put our chest onto their chest and they have to hold us up. We make the pressure. Pressure is how we can be able to use really good jujitsu against people that are stronger than us. We get into a good position where we can give them a lot of pressure and it makes it hard for them to move us with their muscles. From crocodile control, we talked about the two ways they can try to get away from us. One is they can turn away from us, and that's dangerous. If they roll over my hands, I'll, they'll get stuck, and I won't be able to stop them from taking me over. So he turns away from me. My hands got stuck underneath them, and he was able to turn me all the way over. To solve that problem, when I feel him start to turn, I release my grip and I post, we post out with our hand, but we keep our head wrap. We let go of our underhook, we keep the head wrap and we post out, calling that our super hand. What's gonna happen next is, he's gonna probably turn back towards us. When he turns back towards us, if we don't make any adjustments and he bridges, we, we get knocked over because our knees might be too close together. We always want to keep our knees spread far apart, but even then, they could turn us over. So what do we do? I will turn your head this way, Mr. Purple. From crocodile control, if he turns into me, and I, we're going to stick our legs straight back. Like that. But we keep our crocodile control, and this is our super foot. What happens here with our training partner is they, they can get to rocking, and the rocking makes them more powerful when they're trying to get away from us. So we have to be ready. If they turn one way and we stop it, they're probably going to turn back the other way, and we need to be ready for that. We got our crocodile control. I don't know which way he's going to go first. Ben, I want you to notice the position of my knees and my toes, how wide my knees are, and that my toes dig into the mat. We call those live toes or active toes. We're never on the tops of our feet. Here, so he's gonna go ahead and turn one way. Oh, I need my super hand. I know he's coming back the other way. I re-lock my crocodile control. But I, we stick out our super foot. Now what's he gonna do? He's probably gonna go back the other way. And then the other way. Ooh, you ready? One, two, three, four. Now, if we're being heavy and we're giving them lots of pressure, lots of our body weight to carry, each turn gets a little weaker and a little weaker and a little weaker until they're done trying to do that. They're gonna think of, they're gonna try to think of something else that doesn't take up so much energy. And that's when we move on to our next move. So let's review that. Let's get our kids. We'll spread out. We're not going to be competitive with them. We'll, be we'll start to challenge them. I think everybody here has had this lesson except for Ben. So the rest of you guys can probably jump right in and be going a little bit faster, okay? All right? All right, one, two.